My name's Martin Welsh. I'm a full-time painter, and lately I've been doing a series of portraits. And uh, I'm really trying to not just capture a likeness to the person, but I'm trying to get a bit of their essence and a bit of their character and trying to put that down on canvas. Tonight in the sitting, I'm meeting Mike Hosking, a broadcaster, a man who claims to be shy of the media, uh, but tonight I'll be putting uh, the questions to him. Michael. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Come sit down, come sit down. Thank you, thank you. So this is the Soka Gallery. This is where it all begins. Lovely. And uh, basically what I'm going to do tonight uh, while we're here is that I'm just going to do what I call blocking. uh, Basic bone structure and we'll just take it from there. Fantastic. You're going to be working heavily on the eyes? Heavily on the eyes. I've got a lot of blue, a lot of blue. Well, how would you describe them? My eyes, I'd describe them. Captivating? It is, it, it is no, I wouldn't have gone that far, but um, it is of all the features, many of which I have no particular affinity or fascination with, they are the, um, they are the features that most people The quintessential. Well, I mean, mention. when we're talking like this, if you don't look someone in the eyes, I think it's quite... Yeah. Yeah. Are you a man that likes to be interviewed? No, not particularly. Why not? Um, because one of the things you soon learn when you're in the media and you make your living in the public eye is that you get to tell your story once. And most of us aren't that fascinating. It's about not putting yourself out there as a person. It's about almost hiding. I have a particular skill in asking questions, arguably, but I'm not actually that fascinated by answering them. I, well, I see, because I, I find that quite strange from because I've seen you on TV and I've heard you on the radio and to me you're just the quintessential and for you to say that it's just not my bag. I no, just... I'm, I'm very shy. Yeah? Yeah, I'm very shy. People Always been? Are, people, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah people, I, well, most people, yeah, I, I have been, but most people in the media are. It's like the, just because you're on television or radio, you haven't got an audience per se. I decided I wanted to be in radio. From And early? I have no, yeah, oh yeah, from school, 12, 13 years old. And I have no idea why. I have no. I cannot tell you why. I just decided that's, that's was something I wanted. No, to no do. inclination. Nothing. Just nothing. Psh, that's decided my... that's what I wanted to do. Went away. Uh, wrote away. Three radio stations sent me back booklets. I got a booklet on jobs and broadcasting. And I looked through all the jobs and broadcasting, and the only one I could do because I'd rung all the radio stations said I want to be on air, and they said, well, you can't be on air till you're 21. So go away and you know think of something else. So I got my book on, book on broadcasting and the only thing that I could think of doing was copywriting, which is, you know, writing ads. So I did that. Sent away, did a couple of tests, passed, got a job, someone got sacked. I was on here two weekends later. All of that serendipitous, pure luck. I worked at a dreadful place that no longer exists. But um, someone got fired, got two mid-dawn shows. Someone got fired, got the evening show. Yeah. So as long as someone gets fired, so, Mike's so, all right. So as long as people were falling by the wayside and there was carnage on the station... Mike's there. I was on my way up. Yeah. So it worked out well. I've been exceedingly lucky in the sense that I've been able to um, forge some sort of career and living based on the fact that I'm not overly bright, mm-hmm. don't have any formal qualifications, and picked an industry or business where you could actually get towards the top without having to spend an entire lifetime sucking up to people. Just and, as long as someone else falls over. Yeah, as long as someone else fell over along the wayside. I did try art. OK, embellish me. I, um, I went to a cartoon class to draw you know, how, how, cartoons. But, but when's this? Like oh, when I was a kid, seven, eight, okay. nine, eight nine years old. Okay. Thought, you know. But um, I, I did cartoon class for a while, but that yeah. didn't work out. Nothing worked out. It never developed into anything. So. I, I, all I wanted to be, I mean, when I was growing up, was a comic illustrator. You seem to be able to do something with paint that turns out to be relatively successful. Well, sometimes my bank balance is successful, but... Got to go through the tough it. times, eh? Tough times are good. You don't have any tough times, don't know how good the good times are. Well, you've had, you know... Yes, I have. And the, there's been some ones recently? Relatively. Wow. You know, depends if you think they're tough. They're time less, I, I assume you're referring to my sacking from state television. But when was that? Interesting, you should ask. Yes. But, um, no, that turned out to be a blessing. That, was my, that, that turned out to be one of the best things that ever happened to me. Yeah. But, um, it, well, yeah, it's like anything in life, isn't it? I could have got morose, miserable, depressed, but I didn't, as it turned and out. And so what's that? I mean, you get up the next day and you think, oh, well, 
Um, well, the girls weren't at school then, were they? they were yeah, no, I, only, I got, um, we parted company Yeah. Uh, five years ago. Oh, so the girls were quite young. They were girls were two. two. Girls were two. Two, yeah. I guess it was traumatic. I don't yeah. know, I suppose. It doesn't seem like anything now, to be perfectly frank. Yeah. But um, what I have discovered is the best thing that ever happened to me because what I used to be was uh, driven and my pants were too high and I was too serious and all of those sort of things worked too hard. And then suddenly I didn't have to work too hard and I thought that was the greatest thing. As it turns out, turned out I've done nothing for five years. You're yeah, quite protective of your girls. Love my girls. You went through a bit of a, you know... Grief, well, trauma, drama. Well, you put it into your own words, so that'll, that'll do me. I was going to say <laughs> tough time, but okay. Tough time, yeah, no. We'll no, do trauma good. then. Trauma's good. We'll do trauma. And you've soul custody? Um, I don't like to talk about it. No, okay. I don't, talk, I don't we'll like to talk on. about it. But um, I love my girls. Girls yeah. are my life. Good stuff. Simple as if that. If I can ask one thing, what is it like living in a seven-year-old girl's world? Because there's two of them in your house. I, oh, it's just, there will come a point where it will turn and they'll get ugly. Yeah. But they haven't yet. Mike's probably most outstanding feature is his yeah. eyes. But I was actually taken back by how pink uh, and fleshy toned his, his skin was. So, um, yeah, I think I'm in for a little bit of a challenge on this one, so we'll just have to wait and see. As a broadcaster, what, what would be one of your proudest moments? Probably getting the breakfast show yeah. for ZB. I think that's a personal thing, I guess, in, in, in that sense, because that is rightly nothing to do with me, perceived to be the job in radio in this country. Yeah. Biggest audience, longevity, history, success, all of those sort of things. And that's an honour to get that. Awesome. It's gone really well. Brilliant. I will take this back to the studio and we will get you back in in, I don't know, between seven and ten days. Don't yeah. rush it. No, it's all right. Oh, I can't rush it, mate. Plenty no, of detail. No, plenty of detail. And uh, I'll paint it with the girls in mind. So it won't be too What does scary. that mean? You'll so see. when they see you'll it, see. they're going to go, oh, he's cool. Is that what's going to happen? Because they already give me the, they go, why are you wearing that? And I go, oh, because I'm going out. I have a meeting. I have a something. And they go, that looks rude as. And Straight up. But they're seven. They're seven. Oh, I forgive them. They say, why don't you use a brush in your hair? Why does your hair look like that? I said, because I like it like that. But you're seven. Yeah, seven. That's what I say. I say, it's my only riposte. Yeah. You're seven. What you're do you seven. know? Yeah, they know everything, but they know nothing. <laughs> awesome. Thank you well, so much for coming in. Lovely to see you. And we'll get you back in soon, and uh, we'll do the big reveal. Michael, how Mike, are you? Good to see you. How you been, all right? I'm extremely well. How have you That's gone? Good. Yeah, on fire. Oh, big pause. Too no, long a pause. I had to think about it. No, don't look so hard. I'm a hard marker. Oh, that's all right. I'm a hard marker. All right. We'll just get straight into it. If yep. I can just get you to stand just there for me. Yep. I'll come back and we'll turn around together. Brilliant. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Okay. How you want to do it? Just turn around. Okay, here we just go. Just have a squiz. Me, yeah, I like that. That's really cool. What's all the blue for? Why have we gone for the ch ch just to link it all up? Okay. We were sitting down there and I said, is there a feature that you sort of want me to focus on? You just said to me, it's all about the eyes, yeah, Martin. Yeah, it's all about yeah, the eyes. Yeah. So by me putting some blue in the hair, dark hair that you've got, yeah. light reflects off it. It's either going to go grey. Yes. Or it's going to have a tinge of blue. Yes. So I wanted to highlight the blue. Brilliant. Which then reflects off the eyes. Yeah. And you wearing that shirt just does it justice. Yeah, that's brilliant, eh? That's very clever. That's a nice piece. That's a fantastic piece. I'm glad you did it big too. Big's good. Anyway, brilliant, awesome. mate. No, you're thank a you very much. Man. You're oh, a I know that. Man.